dependable, social, charming, positive and caring. Today we're talking about the ISFJ personality type and if you're an ISFJ you're probably an introvert, probably a sensory type, probably a feeling type and probably a judging type. But what does that mean? Today we're going to talk five signs that you're an ISFJ personality type and if you have any experiences with ISFJs or if you know any ISFJs feel free to let me know down in the comments your thoughts on this magnificent and amazing personality type. Now first of all let's talk about the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator. The ISFJ is one of the 16 personalities in the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator. That means you are one of the 16 personality types. Um, and so, as an ISFJ, you're going to relate to being introverted, sensory, feeling, and judging. But what does that mean? Well, first and foremost, introverts are people that like to take their time on a task, while sensory types are people that like to engage with practical tasks. Feeling types, they are people that tend to enjoy collaboration and community, while judging types are people that tend to enjoy organization and structure. So these four traits combine to make you who you are as an ISFJ. Now, my name is Eric Dorn. I've spent more than 10 years studying the personnel types at their best and worst, and so I believe that there is nothing wrong with being an ISFJ. ISFJs are amazing, and so if you are an ISFJ, what you're going to find is um, you can be and act in any way you want. You're not trapped or stuck in a box or in a specific personnel type, but you'll find that some things are more enjoyable for you than other things. As an ISFJ, you're going to find that you prefer to enjoy with detail work. You're going to find that you prefer to engage with people. You tend to enjoy having a comfortable and secure environment to live in, and you tend to enjoy having structure and organization around you. So, first of all, let's talk about the behavior of the ISFJ. How do they appear to other people? How do people tend to describe the ISFJ? Most people would say the ISFJ is one of the most reassuring personality types. ISFJs tend to be easy to be around, they tend to be comfortable, they tend to be nurturing, and they tend to be supportive. The ISFJ is typically the person to have a clean and presentable house. They are preferably, they're good hosts, they tend to make other people feel welcome, and they tend to be good at uh, surprising people with amazing food or baked pastries or uh, with some kinds of acts of service. The ISFJ is also a quite a humorous and playful type that doesn't take themselves too seriously. The ISFJ is known to crack yokes at their own expense and to have fun with themselves. The ISFJ is also somebody that makes and does and engages in humor to make other people feel comfortable and to make other people feel at ease. Now let's talk about the cognition of the ISFJ personnel type. The ISFJ is dominated by introverted sensing, which is one of the eight cognitive functions discovered by Carl Jung. When you're an introverted sensory type, you prefer to have structure and order, and you tend to manifest high self-discipline and resilience. The ISFJ is surprisingly a type that enjoys self-disciplined action, a physical exercise, and a daily routine that is comfortable and healthy for them. The ISFJs are typically concerned with their own health and with their own well-being, and tend to spend much time on creating a positive and uh, healthy ritual for themselves to engage in on a daily basis. On the negative, the ISFJ tends to struggle with extroverted intuition, which tends to be more repressed in the ISFJ personnel type. And when repressed, I, this extroverted intuition can make the ISFJ prone to worry. Many ISFJs experience worry about change in the future. They can feel uncertain about what's going to happen in the future. They can worry about what's next. They can worry about losing their security or their comfort or about not being prepared enough for a situation or not being able to anticipate future consequences. The ISFJ will therefore typically prefer to focus on what they know and where they feel secure and where they feel comfortable. And so there can be a desire for the ISFJ to pull away from and to avoid news or media or anything that can disrupt this inner sense of harmony. Other ISFJs find that if they are able to preserve their energy and their boundaries and to create a healthy structure for themselves, it is easier to manage this outer chaos. As an ISFJ, if you have a healthy routine and a healthy boundary and a healthy system for it that works for you, it's easier to deal with chaos and change and the unpredictability that is life today. So 
Beyond that, the ISFJ is known for their extroverted feeling function. And so this means the ISFJ is a type that tends to um, challenge themselves to be good people. They are concerned with their community and with the welfare of the people in their community or in the close family or in the tribe. The ISFJ tends to focus on other people at the expense of the self. The ISFJ is a person that tends to engage in problem solving and logical analysis and to think about how they can fix the lives of their friends and family members to the better. So this is the cognition of the ISFJ. Introverted sensing is your dominant function. Extroverted feeling is your supportive auxiliary function. Introverted thinking is your toolkit that you use to help other people. And extroverted intuition is your inferior function. And this is the function you're going to have to learn to manage and deal with in a healthy way. Because typically your dominant function will normally put you in a state of flow while your inferior function has a chance of bringing up stress or anxiety. So what everyone tends to encourage is working on this function to improve on yourself and to become more stress resilient. Now let's talk about the values of the ISFJ personnel type. All of the 16 personalities tend to have different sets of values and different sets of things that are important to them. The ISFJ is typically a person that prefers to have harmony over competition, and that means collaboration is more important. You care little about personal gain or achievement or accomplishment. These things matter little to you. What matters more is that everyone is happy and that everyone has a chance and an equal opportunity to succeed. As an ISFJ, you're more focused on the well-being and welfare of everyone around you, and so you tend to be more open to those kinds of values. This does not necessarily mean that you are a socialist or a liberal or a conservative. This can depend on how you choose to apply these values in your personal life. It might be enough for you to simply focus on how you as a person engage and create a healthy environment, or you might feel that these values should be better represented politically in your society. ISFJs tend to also be a bit more on the conservative and traditional side, and that means that ISFJs tend to prefer having a healthy sense of tradition and roots. ISFJs value having a sense of duty and being able to honor that sense of duty and they get energy from having traditions and rituals that recur throughout the year that they can look forward to and engage in. And they tend to be people that are passionate about things such as Christmas or Midsummer or uh, various chances to cele celebrate and to enjoy uh, and honor different moments throughout life. Then let's talk about the temperament of the ISFJ. As an introverted and judging type, the ISFJ tends to be more on the stoic side of the 16 personality types. That means the IJs, they tend to focus more on slow paced and steady and careful and cautious work towards long term goals and towards the future. The ISFJ is one that engage much as, uh, engages much in preparation and in working and in careful um, execution of their skills and abilities. They're not in a rush unless stressed. They prefer to take their time on a task and to make sure it's done perfectly. And so the ISFJ is a type that tends to discipline themselves quite a lot. The ISFJ is a person that values discipline and values focus and values structure. They tend to focus more on how they act and how they respond to situations than how other people act or respond. The ISFJ is more focused on what kind of example they want to set to the world rather than uh, how other people choose to live their lives. And so the ISFJ focuses on trying to be a role model and that's something very important to them. Finally, let's talk about the ISFJ flow and stress state. When the ISFJ is in a state of flow, what you'll find is the ISFJ is laid back, easygoing, and in many ways uh, comfortable and in tune with their surroundings and their environment. They focus on what they know and they spend time mastering a task and in engaging with a task in a healthy and careful and harmonious manner. They might enjoy engaging in things like knitting or sewing or cooking or tasks that require patience and that they allow them to express themselves artistically and to engage in aesthetic pursuits. The ISFJ on the other hand might be stressed in environments that are highly competitive and environments that are very focused on work and productivity. It can be tough for an ISFJ to be in an environment that demands much from them in terms of workload and output. It can also be tough when an environment demands that they be selfish and that they think only about themselves. If they come into a situation focused on everyone's happiness while everyone else is looking to exploit and, and manipulate the situation, that might be tough on the ISFJ. 
The ISFJ is also a type that uh, in many ways benefits from and it takes inspiration from uh, being able to be present. While the ISFJ is a person that lives much in a state of preparation, constantly thinking ahead of situations and thinking of how they can study ahead of a situation, how, what they need to learn, what tasks they need to have, and uh, how a situation should be organized. It's often nice for an ISFJ to meet people that will bring them out into the world and that will allow them to be more spontaneous. These kind of things are inspiring for the ISFJ and can help them stay on track in their state of flow and to make sure that they are able to not just create a healthy and harmonious structure for themselves, but also a structure that they will enjoy and get value and meaning from. So are you an ISFJ? Let me know in the comments down below and let me know what kind of things that you relate to and feel define you the most as an ISFJ. Thank you so much for watching and see you all in the next video.